end of July, so I thought we'd do a garden tour today. I didn't do one end of June because there really wasn't anything to show. The heat really showed up in July. Prior to that, we had a, a spring with no warm days, so um, the plants got off to a very slow start, but I'm glad to see that they're kicking in now. So let's take a look. I'll call this bed one. And here I have, as in all my beds, most of them, uh, a mix of veg. I interplant and uh, intense plant, but I'm always picking out, harvesting in between to give, you know, the next upcoming room to grow. So in this bed, I've planted carrots along the edge here. They were planted May 16th by seed. My leeks went in, well, all of them by the end of May 20th. And um, of course, started them indoors because they were transplanted out. They're coming along now. They really got hit by the cold. Um, just slowed down a bit, but they always do this for me and they always catch on. Leeks are extremely hardy. Here I have uh, sugar snap peas. Planted those May 3rd, which is pretty normal for me. But because there was May and June, there was no warm weather, they um, uh, took a long time to sprout. Um, and they're really dwarf ones this year, I don't know why, but they're already producing and I would say by the, oh, with under a week I'll be harvesting those um, heavily starting on them. They're really in full pod now. I also in, have in here one, two, three, four celery plants, five celery plants. Put those in, in cold weather every year but they're hanging in they're very also they like cold and they, they do very well so they're just starting I've got them at various stages here so I probably put them out at various stages I have a winter squash just starting to climb out I see which is wonderful to see I have a Brussels sprout there and for some reason that one might have got wind rock we had enormous winds and it it's blown. Wind rock can really make a Brussels sprout blow. Um, it's the only one though that I have. However, it probably got the worst wind. I have lettuce in between in a few places. I have uh, spring onions or green onions which need to be harvested now. I'm pulling those every day. I did have uh, along the other edge a row of bunching onions. Those have all been use now. A few of those bolted. We went from cold to hot and some plants suffered for it. This is rapini now gone to flower. Um, we harvested quite a bit and enjoyed it but uh, it's done its day. I have a couple of cabbage. I have some broccoli. Another cabbage. Uh, broccolinis. I have harvested pretty much all of the broccolinis in this bed and um, yeah we've, we've been enjoying those. They, they really came out early so I was impressed with that. I've got more on the way. I've got kale, curly kale, red curly kale and another one. I don't know. Might be a Russian. Um, the nasturtiums there were there were some turnips. This one's gone bolted, so it's not going to be any good. And those are mostly out now. There are two tiny squash coming. I don't think they'll amount to anything. But um, if we have a long autumn, which we probably will, I may get a squash from those. And I have a random strawberry plant in here. So that's bed one. Bed number two is my strawberries and i um, harvesting heavily those every day now. We'll go down to the two garlic beds. Um, they are not yet ready to harvest. I put them 
the cloves were planted October 27th of last year and I harvest every year when I'm three leaves from the bottom have turned. So let's find one. So if you look, this one here, there's one leaf gone, second one, third one's just starting to yellow there. Uh, and when that's really gone, that'll be harvest time for me. I have in this bed also some celery. This is where the mouse tunneled and took out. And you'll see the brassica, a beautiful healthy cabbage plant. And it was gone in one evening. He ate it. I have a red curry squash in here. Nasturtiums. They won't be hurt when I pull out the garlic because the beds they pull out easily for me I don't dig them out and carrots are mixed in also eggplants so hopefully I'll see some eggplants this year they're doing well in there I also have a an old thyme plant and an old sage plant now you're never supposed to put sage with garlic eh, doesn't seem to be hurting those I never listen to a and my other garlic bed. Again, with some carrots interplanted. But not too many. I will find some succession plants to go in there or seed. Back over here, bed number four. I have parsnip along the edge here. Seeded May 16th. Swiss chard, probably seeded a few days later, in this row. We'll have lots of Swiss chard. They are now getting hit with the uh, leaf miner. But for me, leaf miner doesn't seem a big issue. They come, they do their thing. They ruin a few early leaves. And then I never see them again. So I'm not too concerned. I have a zucchini in the middle here. I'm not sure which one. I have some radishes, white radish about to bolt. I'll take that one out. That's a white icicle. Throw that. I have uh, broccoli, broccolini, uh, winter squash, beans. I went every bed has extra beans because when the mouse took out the beans I went a bit mad and stuck beans everywhere bush beans we'll see how they go I was just trying to make up for the loss down there because I really rely on them I have some more lettuce some more celery I have to really scout around to see what I've got here these are the snow peas I have to harvest again today. Harvesting every two days, these baskets full. I cannot believe I've got some here and up there. Um, baskets full, <laughs> so much. I have more spring onions need to come out. A uh, little couple of nasturtiums. I have some corn that I thought I'd try in here and a cabbage, some carrots. Oh, I put carrots in after I pulled out some of the bunching onions. So that's bed number four. We did the garlic, five, six. Bed number seven, let's go down here. In these two bags here, I have um, zucchini. Bed seven, we have some structural issues here. These are my pod peas, uh, the beautiful purple. And um, yeah, I can't push them back up, they're so heavy. But is what it is. Here's a artwork broccolini, uh, ready to harvest. Again, I've harvested many of the artwork. This one I've harvested, the other shoots of the broccoli are coming up. I have nasturtium, 
I have some cucumbers that I'm trying to grow there, but they keep getting taken out by slugs. We'll see if I get any from those. A few more bunching onions are left here. Not sure what kind of, I think, I've got a squash there. I'm not sure what it is. Some pak choy. I have a nice little, oh, with a slug on the bottom of it. Let's get you out of there. See ya. Nice zucchini here. That did get pollinated, finally. There's my globe artichokes. I have one in this bed doing well. I started the vernalization for those the same time, so May 16th, put them out in the cold to suffer in the cold, and um, they're doing well. It may seem odd to put um, an artichoke in the middle of your bed, but in cold climates, uh, globe artichokes do not reach the enormous size that they can get. It won't even hit a meter. Like it will not uh, get large. So there's no problem there. And it will, in fact, shade other plants that I have growing. Here's celery, broccoli, some carrots interplanted with the bunching onions. This is a winter squash, winter squash, winter squash. Few extra garlic I plunked over there because I didn't have room. Some leeks, green onions, pak choy, and a red Russian kale, I think that's called. Oh, and this is the chimchurri. Chimchurri, I don't know how to say that. So that's that bit. My beans are doing really well. They're very crowded at the moment due to unintentional overseeding because um, so many were eaten by the mice. But uh, they're flowering and that's wonderful to see. And this is the hole where the mouth has tunneled. I'm hoping to see lots of beans this year again. My tomato bed. Well now, uh, they're trying. My poor plants are all trying to bloom now. They're all intermixed. I can't tell you what's what anymore because of the hardships we've all gone through. Um, I can tell you that that's a sun gold, these ones here. But now that the warmth's here, they're um, catching their feet and uh, doing much better. So there's tomatoes on many of the plants actually and uh, pleased to see that. There in the back is some runner beans making their climb. That's the scarlet runner. I just did it for the beauty of the flowers. I have onions just planted all around the edge of the bed. These lettuce I should pull out now. They soon want to bolt, I would say. They were planted uh, winter sowing, so um, I've had lots of harvest from these actually. Pulled one out, uh, and I'll probably pull these today. There's a cucumber and some bunching onions on this side. And they're doing okay. Now, a mouse does like to come down from here. I've been trying to plug the hole, but he doesn't seem to eat the tomatoes, so fill your boots, Mr. Mouse, fill your boots. Here are, in this jungle, my winter, these are my carrots that I sow for the, to bring into my garage in the winter. There was a few that didn't come and germinate, I think due to the heat and, and watering. So I've, I've reseeded in the holes that are there. Here we can see more structural damage. I don't normally ever use the bamboo poles, but, um, just for ease and not bothering Bruce for getting sticks and whatever I stuck them in. They don't work. They're not strong enough. These are very, very big, heavy bean plants. Or pea plants, rather. So these peas... Oh, look, they're almost ready. Yeah, so we'll be harvesting lots of pod peas, which these I freeze directly, and uh, they're, they freeze so well that they're a great resource for me throughout the winter. I have some green onions in here. I put an awful lot of late plantings of, or succession plantings, 
of beans. Again, I think these are the black turtle, be, due to my frustration from the other bed. There's a pink celery. It's the only pink celery that I'm finding. I must have lost a lot. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven celery in this bed. A globe artichoke. Leeks. And I'm not sure what those are. Just a few random small onions, it looks like. And I have a Jackie Little squash there. I have already... Oh, and broad beans, sorry. Loaded with broad beans in here. They're getting close to harvesting at the bottom level. So that's fun. I'll start those. I have a lot of broad beans. I have in total 50 plants. So they will produce for me. They actually... I don't pull them like a lot of people do. Mine just keep going because of my short season, I guess. Uh right up until the frost I just keep picking 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 they keep producing which is quite amazing total hodgepodge now is what was once intended to be my pepper bed so some of the peppers have hung on and I'm sure they will produce they're starting to flower here there's a jalapeno I can see right now somewhere in there can you see it I've got to pull these winter radishes. They're too big and bolting. I'm not sure if that's a... It's a tiny Tim, I think, tomato. I've got carrots in here. Interspersed. I have some form of squash. This is definitely a zucchini. That would be a Ron Denise going by the size of that plant. It's looking very healthy. And it's just producing something. Let me see if I can see what that is. Is it a flower or a male? Or... That is not a Ron Denise. I'm lying to you. Interesting. What a big zucchini plant that is. And in here I have some of the peppers that did survive. Uh, so the banana pepper, they're all over. I've been harvesting some. They're the most bizarre shapes uh, many of these, and I, I think it's because they were hurt so much. <laughs> so jalapeno, um, I think I've, this is a Carmen or something over there. We'll see how he produces, but I've certainly got banana peppers and jalapeno. And there's another banana pepper down in there. And this is the spoon tomatoes, just they're crazy, just crazy. This one, I don't know if he's ever going to come back to make it. And some extra uh, turnips. That's the, the white uh, cherry ones. Ooh. You can see this isn't, we haven't got the gravel here yet, so a little crazy jungle at the moment, but next year hopefully we'll save up some money and I'll add more of the crushed stone. And here are my onions, supposed to be for storage, but all the red onions have bolted these every single and that's the red carmen uh first time i've ever had that i may i plant at the same time as i do every year never have an issue i may go a, a week later due to the d changes in the climate right now next year but my stirons seem to be fine just not going to be as many onions as i had hoped which is a shame. I really rely on those. So that's a look at my 11 raised beds. The other two garden areas on my property, I'll show another day because I want to get on and uh, full sun has come out now. So I want to make sure I harvest some of the lettuce I wanted to get and some peas and, and some other vegetables. I'll show you those when I get those um, before the real heat gets at those vegetables. I'll just run through today's harvest. I got lots of lettuce for us. Lots of gorgeous strawberries. I have to pick them every day to keep up with them. And uh, what a beautiful glut. And they smell gorgeous. There are some peppers. I picked those because the plants had so many on them. 
they're still a little small, but um, yeah, I'll eat them just the way they are and give the plants a break. Some green onions, lots of snow peas. As I said, I'm picking them every two days, and uh, I think I'm going to freeze some because I've got such a glut of those. Some tomatoes that I picked from the upstairs bedroom. Some broccolini that we'll probably eat this evening. And there we go. A nice little harvest today. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon.